The difference between where you are now and in two, three, four, five, however many years you like, are the conversations you are willing to have, the people you meet, and the books you read. All right, welcome back to another YouTube video. And yes, we are talking about books or books, however you would like to pronounce them, uh, and wherever you're from. Now, books in it, mate. They make you smart and all that. But in all seriousness, who's going to click on a YouTube video about books? Well, shame on you. And if you're here, well done you, because there is a saying uh, that goes something like the difference between where you are now and in two, three, four, five, however many years you like, are the conversations you are willing to have, the people you meet, and the books you read. So I thought, you know what, I've done a lot of reading over the past couple of years. I was never a reader, so I was never a bookworm myself. However, a lot of the information that we have access to, and I've talked about this within training and nutrition, it's already available. It's already there, it's been done many times, and all you have to do is find it, identify it, and a lot of the time, read it. So you can't buy experience, but you can buy books. So with that in mind, I thought, you know what, let's go over some of my favorite books um, for you guys to have a little bit of a gander at, maybe add them to the reading list, etc. So just had some food and uh, I thought, let's make a YouTube video about some of my favorites. So I'm not gonna blather on about all of them. However, there are some key books that I think everyone should read. Some of them I have physical, some of them I have on audio. I like to have usually one of each going at the moment. So I'm just gonna go through my sort of top book recommendations for you in all regards. And I think one day I'd love to have a library in my home and sort of like a top shelf, like non-negotiable books for my kids to read. And then maybe relationships, finance, lifestyle, training, health, fitness, have like categories um, because they, they really do give you an insight and a leg up in the world and they are wonderful things that offer so much value and I don't think we take them as seriously as we should. And I get it, there's lots of distractions around. It's much easier to do something else than read a book, but for those who do read know how influential and valuable that they are. So one of my first book recommendations that comes to my knee-jerk reaction, it's not actually a physical book, I will get the physical, but it's The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acor. So this one is about outliers. So the book cover, you will see there's like a bell graph, it almost looks like a smiley face. And it's people at the top of the graph, outliers who are really happy. So generally when they do a study, everything's brought down to the median and the outliers above and below that are really out and throw the discrepancy they ignore, which is a bit of a shame. So it's about positive psychology and Sean was one of the first people to want to study this and interested in the people who were above average. A lot of the time back then people were studying below average to bring people average, but he was interested in above average. And that's what we're interested in here. We don't want no mediocrity, mate. Um, we're not about that life. So that one was phenomenal and it breaks down the seven main principles that contribute to happiness. It's not a genetic thing. It's something that we can all have access to. And it looks at the main contributing factors, breaks them down in a really fun and engaging way. Sean is a great narrator. I believe he does narrate it himself uh, from memory of the one I um, had read or listened to. And um, he's very real down to earth. He uses concepts that we can all understand. And he's actually really comical. And for those of you who want to check it out, actually, he's got a TED talk. So go and check the TED talk out because that is phenomenal. It will grip you, it will hook you, and then you'll ride him from there. Why do you waste your time studying happiness at Harvard? Seriously, what does a Harvard student possibly have to be unhappy about? Embedded within that question is the key to understanding the science of happiness. Because what that question assumes is that our ex external world is predictive of our happiness levels. When in reality, if I know everything about your external world, I can only predict 10% of your long-term happiness. 90% of your long-term happiness is predicted not by the external world, but by your, the way your brain processes the world. And if we change it, if we change our formula for happiness and success, what we can do is change the way that we can then affect reality. So that's one of my top three recommendations. The second one, um, because I'm really big into communications and building relationships, is the five love languages. Now, the cool thing about the five love languages, and we might be finding the light a little bit here, guys, 
as I sit, the sun is setting, but it's all good. I've got the fairy lights on and some backlight, so stay with me. And hopefully the wind isn't too windy on the, the road mic. Um, so the five love languages, really interesting because we sort of, we, we understand probably what they are already, but when we really understand them in context and we understand what our love languages are, and there are five. So we've got acts of service, we've got words of affirmation, you've got receiving gifts, you've got physical touch and quality time. My two, for your interest, are physical touch and quality time. Um, as I know some of my closest friends are, and we all are drawn or we respond differently to the love languages. And we usually have one or two, that's our top, our primary. So for example, you might have someone in your life and you might say, hey, Rachel, you did a really great job. I, I love your work on that. And that could actually mean more to her than say a hug or a pat on the back or a high five, which might mean something to Joe, who his love language is more physical touch and it doesn't necessarily mean intimacy, but like it's an action. Uh, and it's the same with the other. So when we understand this, we can become better communicators, we can become better responders, we can become better friends, better lovers, better teachers. And ultimately that is in essence, one of the most powerful tools that you can add to your repertoire, if you will. So I know you may have heard of it, but I do recommend it. Um, as a side note, no offense to anyone who is religious. I'm not really big into the, the, the religious element that was within this um, book that I read or this um, section. I don't think it's down to uh, an entity or one thing. I think there's more out there. But nonetheless, the principles were amazing and um, definitely worth the read. So it makes my top three without a doubt. Um, my next one that I'd have to put in there, probably going to go close to another audio book. I'm just trying to think, Ooh, it's a tough one. Okay, I'd probably have to go with the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Um, absolutely brilliant, absolutely phenomenal book. Um, there are many, there are many in the series. The I had the physical book, I actually gave it to a friend. And it's not what you think, it's not as, as, as sort of, it sounds very blunt and almost aggressive but it's about only giving a fuck about the things you give a fuck about because you've only got so many fucks to give, right? So there's a lot of things in life that we react and we respond and we'll think, oh, you know, I gotta care about this and care about that. No, no, no. Don't concern yourself with it because it's not worth it. And the things that matter the most are the things that you need to align with what is worth you know, giving a fuck about, which is your family, your friends, maybe your job, your career, you know, if you've got pets, animals, Things like that. That's that's what's worth it. So it pretty much puts it into context, goes through a lot of worst case scenarios. And um, yeah, Mark Manson is an absolutely phenomenal writer. I'm a big fan. I've actually read all his books, uh, which uh, I would also recommend, but I think that's kind of one of his standouts. Uh, that and for me, Models, which is brilliant, which is more about attraction and um, really good for men out there who want to learn more about communication with women in a very simplistic way. Uh, but Mark Manson, phenomenal writer, very engaging, very fun. So there's my top three. Um, I'm going to share a few more with you before I go, because again, I want to keep these videos on the shorter side, like I've ever mentioned for now. Okay, so um, in the essence of finance, there's two. So The Richest Man in Babylon, literally, it is an absolute platinum, more than two million sold. Really simple, uh, teaches you the basics about money, how to save, how to invest, how to grow. Um, based on the Babylonians, so back in the day, and uses stories to get across the concepts. Absolutely phenomenal. Also, with finance, you've probably heard of it. Yes, Australia's own. Um, Scott Pape, Barefoot Investor. I've got to say, guys, yes, if you're a little more advanced, there's a lot more advanced, more advanced concepts out there. But for the, for the basics and for most people, really, really good. A lot of key takeaways. A lot of people are terrible with finance. So, uh, again, Scott makes it very simple. I know he's got other resources that you can use to invest in as well. You can sign up to his email list and then learn about stocks and whatnot. But really down to earth guy, definitely worth a read. Um, physique wise, um, well, look, ebooks, uh, Muscle and Strength Pyramids um, by the team at 3D Muscle Journey, phenomenal. Monthly applications and strength sports, more of a, a review, but probably Muscle and Strength Pyramids for those who are really nerdy. But I wanted to sort, sort of talk a little bit outside training and nutrition. So if you want to, 
learn about training and nutrition, guys, let me know. There's other courses and books and resources that I can recommend specifically. This is more lifestyle stuff. Uh, Fabulously Fit Forever, my dad uh, gave me this. So Frank Zane, one of my idols, um, one of the probably best and most iconic bodybuilders of all time. Mr. Frank Zane, absolutely wonderful physique. Very cool. Again, a lot of the science has changed, but nonetheless, a very clever man with a psychological background who was ahead of his time in many ways. So a good read if you want to get behind the life or the mindset of a champion within the sport. Uh, some others, Tools of the Titans, Tim Ferriss. Absolutely amazing. He's got the four hour work week, which is another ebook which makes my list. He's got Tools of the Titans. Another one I've got to get is uh, Tribe of Mentors, which is another very thick book. Doubles is a raw stop as well. Or, you know, if anyone comes in in the night, smash them with it. Um, no. <laughs> so Tim Ferriss he has got a world-class podcast and he pretty much uh, teases out um, all sorts of tools, techniques and experiences, routines, habits from the most successful people in the world. That's what he does. That's what that is about. It's a big one, but guys, just handpick it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal if you want to get ahead in life because again, people have already been and done it. Um, some more psychologically and more spiritual causism, uh, which is, is quite deep, which is more about identities and how what is at the root cause of our behaviors and our habits and how we create and discreate um, habits and behaviors. For example, a lot of people say, hey, I'm a smoker or I'm a, you know, I'm an alcoholic and you're not. That's the identity you're given. And once you can disassociate and break the habit, change it, the behavior, that's when you can actually overcome something like that obviously there's more to it but i got gifted that one and um very deep very thoughtful okay. and what am i currently reading now so a caveat guys there's loads more there's loads more books i can recommend and um there's a lot of more audio books and there's a lot of podcasts so if you're interested uh, let me know in the comments or dm me and i will send you those uh, links and uh, i endeavor to get a lot of the guests on my podcast some of which um are going to be coming on of these books and these writers. Another thing as well, if you want me to make more videos like this, more lifestyle based, let me know what you want specifically. Do you want me to talk about like podcasts I listen to, um, other habits and routines, other things that have helped me out? Like, again, let me know what you want to see. I'm happy to create it. Uh, and I'll obviously keep providing the goods in the meantime. Now, what I'm currently reading, uh, once again, it was a gift. So it's The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday, which is um, more about what the Stoic philosophers had been through and went through back uh, many, many years ago um, in ancient times, and a lot of how they dealt with obstacles and how they turned the obstacles into advantages. And it goes through a lot of even modern day people who have been able to turn adversity into success and reward. And so this one is all about perspective. Again, it's very, very good. It gets straight into it. Uh, a lot of raw materials can't go wrong so that's currently uh, what I'm sinking my lion fangs into uh, and I've got plenty more to be going on with I never thought I'd be excited about going in a bookstore yeah there I am mate <sighs> walking in boom 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 I want to buy all the books so guys look if you're not a reader it takes time I'm not going to say go out and be a bookworm but you know start with something even if it's a page a night it's kind of like stretching or any other habit um, that you want to implement. Make it so easy that you, you can't fail and then just build it up over time. That's literally it. It's no secrets, it's, it's no hacks um, apart from the ones that you may find in the book. And uh, there is only reward, there is only positives. You know, it will keep your mind sharp, it will give you a heightened sense of vocabulary of which you can use. It will give you a better understanding of words and context. It will make you a better communicator and a more articulate thinker. It will give you a plethora of things to talk about with people that perhaps you can just draw out and connect on. Or perhaps if there's a slow conversation, you might hey, say, hey, like, interesting thing. I was reading this the other day, random, but boom, boom, boom. And that could open up a whole other conversation with Fred or create a deeper connection with someone. So guys, trust me, give it a go. Invest in books. Only positives, only benefits. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. If you are new, again, still a growing channel, but really do appreciate your support. 
like the video. Of course, if you like the video, it really helps me. I'd appreciate that. Comment if you've got anything positive to say at all, any positive feedback or anything constructive as well. And if you do want to see anything specifically, and of course, all of you who haven't yet, or if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon as well so you can get notifications every single week when I release a video. And of course, until then, till the next episode, guys, live life and stay fearless.